Hey Kidbrarians, it's Betty! And today I'm going to be drawing you like a little drawing tutorial of the Cheshire, Ch the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. So I'm just going to use some Sharpies of different sizes. I'm just going to use a black, a regular one, and a thinner one. A light green, a yellow, and like a hot pink. And I, have, I got these in a separate pack from something. You can just use like a purple and a blue. So I'm gonna start by taking my thicker black and drawing the head. I'm using a kind of a tanned out paper, but you can use a regular paper. Just so you know, if I'm going too fast, you can like just pause the video. So I'm just going to draw the ear, just like a triangle on top of the head. And then inside, I'm going to draw another little triangle. So I'm going to do that twice on both sides. So it's going to look like that. And so now I'm going to just draw his eye. So first I'm going to draw a really big eye. And then down, I'm going to draw like a little line. The line. So there's his little cat eye. And now I'm going to draw, do the same thing on the same, on the other side. And just think that little. So now I'm going to draw like a little, like a mustache looking thing. Now, and then I'm going to do that for like this Cheshire cat smile. Then I'm going to draw a line and the teeth for his smile. And I'm going to draw that for his little nose. And his whiskers. So, that's the Cheshire Cat so far. But now we just need to make his little stripes. So I'm going to put one on the top, one on the side, the other side, and then a couple on the bottom. So this Cheshire Cat, this little cat, um, is kind of like a tabby. But he is, since he's magical, he's magical colors. He's like pinks and purples and all kinds of colors. So I'm going to take my thin black Sharpie and go into the nose and kind of draw like a little fuzz detail. Like shade it in. And now I'm going to draw some. It's not working. It's kind of, I'll just use the thicker one. And draw like a little fuzz for like the ruffle of his fur. So there he is. Just to make him look cooler, let's color him in. So first, I'm gonna color his eye in. Take my light green, my like neon kind of green, and color that in. And color this in. There. His, um, I'm coloring his pupil in, but you can color the back, the outside of it. Now we're going to take our, my purple and color in the stripes that I did. So it doesn't matter what shade of purple you use, but just make sure it's like a kind of darkish purple so it stands out behind the pink. Okay. So there he is. I just needed to do the ears. So there's the stripes in the eyes. Now for the smile. I know this yellow. No, I don't. I think I know what you're thinking. I don't get it. Why yellow? But I'm gonna use it to like outline the mouth, like to make it like like there's light by that. And so. After that, now I'm going to take a pink because I'm doing the yellow first because it's lighter. It might not show up under the pink. So now I'm doing, I'm just coloring in everything except the mouth and trying not to color over the little stripes and the yellow. So he's just going to look just like a regular tabby cat with a smile and he's gonna just be pink and purple 
so the smile might be a little slanted, but he still looks like that quirky cat you know and love. And so I'm just going around the yellow, kind of. So I'm just kind of dodging it. Kind of inside and out. I'm going around the nose because we don't want it colored in because I have it like a good shade of gray. So I'm just going to finish this off. Now you're thinking, what's this blue floor I have over here? This, in fact, is going to be like around the eye. Just to give him a more magical kind of look. He doesn't in the movie have this little blue around him, but I'm just kind of doing it for fun. And now, since we've already used a lot of pink, we're going to use the yellow that we have to color in the insides of the ear. If you want it to be cool, you could show your parents like he's upside down, like in the movie. But here he is, all finished and ready. So thank you for watching my first drawing video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like my video. And I hope you, your Cheshire Cat causes some mischief for you. Please subscribe to Kidberry for more book reviews and more.